Right, that's the bike secured on the stand. The bungee st straps drop, connect to these hooks of mounting uh, loops on the bottom of the lift. They're actually on the Thruxton, if there are people who have got Thruxton. I've threaded it through there, careful not to trap anything or crush any pipes, so I've gone under the pipes. And the front is a bit easier because you can just go over the engine mount like that. And, and then comes through this side. It's just against the bolt so it doesn't slip. And then onto the front, front loops there. And ratchet it up. Good thing about it as well is let's say the, they're screwed down so it doesn't slip on the floor. The pressure of that, tension on that holds this bar forward, which obviously keeps that into position and stops it dropping so your bike can, you know, stay up there. You don't want to come in for come in one morning and find the bike on its side on the floor, hopefully. Right, the, the 60 centimetre bungee cords, as you can see what I've done with that, they go down, just wrap them round twice, hook them on, wrap it round, hook it on again, and that's an extra uh, security measure to keep those uh, pins in place to lock the uh, lift into position. And there you go. I say that's the £108 UK for the lift, and then it's cost me £9 for two straps and uh, 60, uh, 60 centimetre bungee cords. And the bike is all ready. Get the wheels off and get my tyres changed and get it all uh, buffed up and sorted for winter. Thanks for watching. Watch out for the next video.